Simon and Crap here for The Sportsman. We are here down in Billericay, Essex, the home of Gavin and Stacey, to launch a brand new series. Now, we're going to travel around the country meeting sportsmen, sportswomen and their dogs. And today, we're going to meet Sergio and his owner, who kicks a ball about for a living. Right, let's go and meet him, because this is The Sportsman's best friend. <laughs> Sit. Sit. Left hand. Paul. Good boy. <laughs> I'm Ben Coker. Play for Southend United, League One. Uh, and this is Sergio. <laughs> yeah, more importantly, what, what type of dog is he? Let's him meet your dog. Yeah, he's a Weimaraner. So I think that he's a German dog. Um, we got him two years ago from a kennels in Kent, I think it was. Um, so, so yeah, we've had him for two years and he's... He's a big, big boy. He was pretty energetic meeting me at the door, wasn't he? I know, yeah, he's a, he's a live wire after warn people. We've got the sign on the door saying, why I'm on a be aware. So, in fairness <laughs> just to for him. other people, because obviously he's a big dog, so, but no, he's, he's a big softie, really. He's just, he gets very excited. I like Sergio, because obviously you've got Sergio Ramos, Sergio Garcia, all the good sportsmen. So, I kind of went through that, down that route, so, but she, Sergio. Is he named after one in particular? Which, uh, who's your no, favourite well, Sergio? I think he got him when, I think it might be around when the Ryder Cup was getting was getting lively. I think Sergio Garcia is unbelievable in the in the Ryder Cup, and he so I thought, yeah, Sergio. And it's a bit of a, a bit of a different name for a dog, so I went with that, and yeah, you love it, didn't you? I don't think you can give a dog like a, a classic human man name <laughs> like Dave or. I don't I'm not a fan right. of that. You've I got don't think it's right. I think a little bit something a little bit different because every when we walk him down the woods, everyone's like, "What's his name?" Like Sergio. They're like, oh right. I was like, well, <laughs> it's a bit different, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I think I already know the answer to this, but what's he like to come home to then? If you've had a hard day at work. Yeah, he's absolutely, he's absolutely mental. Like, it's just so, he's so energetic. And when I get home, obviously I've had a shit day or something like that, or a bad day. He's, he's all over me like a rash, and he wouldn't, he wouldn't know any different. So he's, he's brilliant. Sergi, out there, Sergio. <laughs> he's already out interested there. in. That. What's this? Come in. <laughs> Sit there for a bit. Let's have it now. He's, he's brilliant. Does he have a favourite toy? Um, <laughs> not really. All the toys he's ever had, he's, he's, he's absolutely destroyed. So, sit. So, not really. He's more of a, he's more of a bone man. More of a bone more man. Of a bone man well, honest. this brings, obviously, we couldn't come to your house and meet Sergio without bringing our own little gift. So, we have indeed bought Sergio <laughs> a present. <laughs> if he's Got even interested in it. What's this? Serge. What's this? What's this? What's that? Oh, it's love a that. Dino the Dinosaur. Oh, you um, love that. you get rid of that in no time, <laughs> wouldn't you? What's that, mate? Hey? A gift from the sportsman. Thank Sergio. you very much. <laughs> <laughs> you will absolutely love that. You'll take that apart in no time. Uh, this isn't the right time to ask this, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Um, <laughs> does he know any tricks? Have you taught him any tricks? He knows a few tricks. He knows sit, pour, down. Um, that's about that's about as much as we we got, and he's not too bad on on recall. So, <laughs> about it. And a high Obviously, five. Yeah, and a high five. That's his best one. What do you think he's like when he's home alone? Do you think he's chilled and well behaved, or do you think he's a bit like this? I think I think he's all right because when we when it's just me and him in the house, he'll just literally lay next to me. People don't believe me because obviously when people come round, he's always all over people. But I think when when he's on his own, I don't think he's I don't think he's up to much. But he ain't he ain't. Wrecked any of the hour, so he's at any point. At any point, no, even when he's good, younger. Though. So that's that's been the best bit. He's not really not really took anything apart. Usually, when they're teething, you just get. I your... know, yeah, but we give him loads of bones and stuff, and he's to be fair, he's been alright. <laughs> he's pretty I protective don't think over you're that, get now. that off him. If I'm honest, <laughs> you're gonna get that off him, are you? So it seems like he's pretty well behaved. But what's the worst thing he's ever done? Worst thing he's ever Dob done. Dob him in. He. Uh, we was having an Indian once and he'd come up and he had took like whole London bhaji off the side when we had all our pals round and he nicked an onion bhaji and that. Just one onion bhaji? Just one onion bhaji. So he ain't, he ain't too bad to be fair. People got mad stories, but he ain't really run off or, or nothing like that. So, but yeah, he's just, he's just really lively. <laughs> What's he like with other dogs? Do you meet many out and about? Is he good? Yeah, when we're, when we're in the woods and that, he's, he's good as well. He just wants to play. And obviously some dogs are not not a fan of the bigger dogs, so they kind of stay away, but he's, he's a big softy, really. He just loves, loves other dogs. Why are dogs better than cats? Cats are just, I don't like cats. I don't really like all. cats. I hate, I hate cats. Um, I just think they're more affectionate and they're, 
just just like your best pal, aren't they? Just like your best friend. I don't think you're gonna get anything better, really. Let's let's take Sergio out for a walk or something. Sweet. Let's let him out. He needs to get out in the open. I think. Are we gonna get this toy back, Serge? How is the knee? It's okay. Yeah, it's coming on really well. It's about five months on on Monday. It is so it's coming on really well. Just everything's going going smoothly at the minute. So I'm really happy with it. Everyone's happy at the club. So just keep going with it, really. What's it like being a professional footballer who can't play football? Is it frustrating in training? It's the most frustrating gym. thing ever, yeah. Just literally gym. Sergi, come in. Literally gym. And now I'm doing a bit of running so I can, I can see a little bit of light, but it's, it's frustrating. When you see all the boys outside and you're inside in the gym every day, just slogging every day, it's, it's tough. But it's just one of them things in football you have to injury comes into the game so you have to you have to deal with it that way mentally you have to deal with it yeah what do you remember from the day of doing it uh yeah it's all a normal bit of a game there. yeah it was, sunderland. It was sunderland yeah so it was a massive game it was one of them games where you look at the beginning of the season you think oh sunderland the way massive stadium be a great game and then yeah 15 minutes into that it you get it just come ball come down the line put my foot down and just had a massive snap and i knew it was bad news but it was uh it took a few days to really get mode around it. And then say you've got to go to surgery, it's just one of those things. What was the pain like? Yeah, as it was pretty bad, yeah. It. it was pretty... Where's your dog? <laughs> there he is. Come on. <laughs> yeah, the it pain. Was, uh, yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty bad. I kind of knew straight away that it was a bad one because I heard the snap and then it kind of started to swell up and yeah, it wasn't wasn't good. What about the trip home, was that? Yeah, mum and dad were up at the game. Oh, so it's kind of one of them where it was a blessing in dis in, in disguise, really, because the good boy, who's a good boy? Um, so at least I didn't have to be on the bus because it would have took even longer. So we got back in four and a half, I think it was, from Sunderland to back here. So, but yeah, it was just crying all the way home, really. <laughs> just waiting to it. Because you don't know what's happened, but you know it was a bad one, so it's just kind of everything goes through your head, and it was just, it was horrific, really. You broke your leg as well, didn't you? Was that last year? I broke year? my leg last year, yeah. <laughs> so I had a couple of years of it, really. Bad, of, bad luck, really. A couple of bad luck, yeah. What, what was the comparison like? Is it better to break your leg or do you Uh, Probably break your leg. Yeah. I was only out for four months. Really? So it's not, not that big a, big of injury. It sounds bad. But wasn't that bad. So this one you're looking at, yeah, nine to nine to twelve months. And how's the recovery been? You've been putting it on YouTube, haven't you? Yeah, I've been YouTubing and I've been doing a little bit with BBC and stuff like that. So it's been been positive in that way. So like we're getting because obviously not a lot of stuff comes out about injured players. Oh, he's injured again and stuff like that. It's yeah. just not very well publicised. But just trying to get out that it's just get my story out there really. We'll put a link in to your YouTube channel. Go on. Yeah, that'd be nice. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Go, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> thank you very much. So you've been back at training today. Um, South End sack Chris Powell. Yeah, yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. How did how did you find out about that then? Uh, well, we come in because we was at the gym because we go to the gym down the road for the training ground, David Lloyd. So we were getting it was like nine o'clock. We we're hearing rumours that he might might have got the sack, and then we come in and it was a big meeting, and he told us that he, he he's being let go. So it's. No, it's ne never nice. You don't want to ever see anyone lose their job. But it's it's football. We need it. We need something to to happen. Um, need to get a reaction out of the boys. But obviously, for me, it's so frustrating because I can't do anything. Can't even help the boys in any shape or form. So, but it's that's the gaffer knows it's football. We've had bad luck with injuries this year, so we've got to try and uh, try and get ourselves out of this. We're all in it together, and we're trying to. Obviously, I can't play, but I can try and help the boys off the pitch and try and keep them, keep their spirits up. Um, but yeah, it could be could be one of one of twelve or thirteen. So we've just got it's in our own hands. We're still outside it now, and we've got seven games to go, seven massive games. So if we can win half of them games, I think we've got a great chance of staying up. You're obviously out of contract as well this summer. Um, were you going to try and sign on anyway, depending on what league South End were in? Where's your situation at with that now? I think it's pretty much it's just up in the air at the minute. Obviously, it has a lot to do with my knee, and obviously I'm working working towards my goal of pre-season. Um, 
but it's just when the club knows what's going on, I think we'll sit down and just see what happens really. But all I've got to focus on now is just my knee and hopefully us staying in League One. Do you, want to, do you want to stay? Can you see yourself? Yeah, I can see myself staying. It's just it's down to the club if they want me to stay and obviously what, what type of contract we're get, they'd, they'd look to give me. So a lot of things come into it, but hopefully we can sit down if we stay in League One. It gives us, it, it gives the situation a better, better hope, really. Does Powell leaving or staying affect, affect that at all? Um, I think it... I'm not really sure, if I'm honest. I'm really not sure because I don't know if a new manager comes in Sorry, cheers. Say hello. But if a new manager comes in, he likes he likes me. It's just it's down to the new manager that comes in, really. Now. Do you think you'll be playing in League One next season? Is that the aim? That is the aim, and or above. I think I've got the quality to to push on, and hopefully my knee reacts well to all the treatment and everything, and I can get back to where I was before I got injured. But we just got just got to keep working hard. Keep working hard. Let's uh, put Sergio to the test with a little challenge, right? Yeah, you're not wrong, hopefully. He'll be all right. And you, actually, and your knee. Well, yeah, exactly, yeah, I'll be in and out, so. Come on, Sergio, let's go. Right, we're back at the house. We're going to do the final challenge of the day, the dog challenge. Um, Ben's having his garden revamp, so we won't show that. So we've just got the tunnel set out here. Uh, and we're going to see if Sergio can get through this <coughs> time. He looks up for it. Let's see if he can do it. Go on, Ben. How do you get through it? Come on. Go on, get it. Get it, go on. Get it. Go on, Sergio, what's this? What's this? Oh. Come on. He's testing you as a dog over there. It really is. We've never done nothing like this before. Go on, sit there. Good boy. Go on, good boy. Get it. Oh. So there's two down there. Can you go the other way? Oh. Go on, then. Go on. Go on, Sergio. Go on, Sergio. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh. Did you get the treats? Yeah, yeah he got the treats and then backed out. Oh, hold that in, baby. Go on, Geese. Come on, Serge. Go on, all the way. Serge, come on. Oh, he's happening. No, he's got that out. Never mind, Serge. You've got your toy. It's been good to meet you. Good nice boy. to meet you, Ben. Thanks for watching. Nice to meet you, Thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you next time on the Sportsman's Best Friend. Say bye, Sergio. Bye-bye. Say bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> good boy. Catch it. Yay! Nice, good ending. <laughs>